Hello, everyone. This is Outnumbered. I'm Emily Campagno, here with my co-host, Kaylee McEnany, and also joining us today, host of Fox & Friends Weekend, Rachel Campos-Duffy, host of Mansion Global on Fox Business, Katrina Campin. House Judiciary Committee is arguing one of prosecutorial abuse, abuse of power, and the prosecutor responds with a jurisdictional. Yeah, Alvin Bragg, um, hate to tell you, yesterday we get the 2018 letter of Michael Cohen to the FEC. Last point here, and here's what he said. Neither the Trump organization nor the Trump campaign was a party to the... And by the way, it was pretty tough on China. Right. Um, uh, was getting payments from a porn star at this very dangerous time that we're in. You know, China's ascendant. Um, we are... And Rachel, I couldn't agree with you more. You and I are so aligned. It's a pivotal time in U.S. history right yes. now. Yes. You know, we understand this case is so flimsy, as, as you were pointing out. We understand that nothing has changed from Alvin Bragg's declination to... Candidates use TikTok compared to 12% of Republicans. 30% of Democrats running in the House compared to 11% of congressional Republicans. Well, Congressman... And can stand there flanked by the 30 influencers that TikTok enlisted the help of to curry favor on Capitol Hill right now. I want my son to have zero part of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah my kids well don't said. even... Have, my 14-year-old doesn't have a phone, doesn't have social media. Well, little Nash and Blake won't either, so yeah. we're yeah. following the... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying. Hilarious. <laughs> but, <laughs> that said... I do feel like um, you know, I love babies. I love families. Children because of the money that they would make for having those kids. And my fear is that, yes, they're going to have children and then they're going to begin to abandon them. If, once the money runs out, then what happens, right? Then all of those issues that you spoke Box checking, which they are, they should just say, oh, we have a great feminist that we want to speak on campus. And then Riley Gaines, I'm sure, would be invited with open arms. <laughs> yeah, and sure. I think that the, you know, we were forming our thoughts, our opinions, and it's great to be able to hear all all of the opinions as opposed to just one. And again, I agree with everything you all said. If it's not their point of view, then it's thrown out the window. Yeah. yeah. The greatest education is from that diversity of thought Absolutely. and experience. So apparently that's not up for certain. Yeah, exactly. I might, it might well, be fun to challenge her. <laughs> oh. Well, this is about to be fun because this is the, the series as well. And I think he's doing anything for attention. It's like, you know, crazy. But he also said, I mean, it's just hysterical oh. to me. I just think he's. So I can't be a libertarian. <laughs> he's, he's running for president. He's also a good singer. Go check out his music. Run, oh, Joe, run. Good. Run, Joe, run. Is this a Florida yeah. thing? Like, <laughs> it, it might be a Florida thing. <laughs> Maybe so. All right. Thanks to everyone. Don't forget to DVR the show. Now here's America Reports.